Yo people, YouTube here for another video. So guys, this video is going to be in flashing lights and today we are going to be playing as uh, EMS uh, unit. Okay, starting off big here, hit and run possible bone fracture. Let's get started. Now, due to the coronavirus, we are wearing our surgical mask. We also have gloves on to hopefully help protect us and anyone we uh, pick up. But anyways, let's open up our map here. There we go. Perfect. And where, where do we have to go? Okay, it's not too far away. Not too bad. So we just have to really take the main road, which we can do nicely since it is right here. Let's go first person. Watch a note for people. And we are good to go. So hopefully traffic will be loading in soon to make this drive a little bit, a little bit more entertaining. Just sometimes traffic takes a second. You see more and more cars are spawning as we go though. Here we go. Watch through the intersections. Get here as fast as we can. But be careful when driving at the same time. Here we go. Okay. Watch this intersection. Looking good. And should just be up ahead. Again, it is a hit and run. Possible bone fracture. Yep. They are definitely down. Alright. We're going to go over here. And our ambulance is going to be used to protect the victim or the injured person. So I'm just going to go like this. There we go. And that should do a good job at protecting them, I'm pretty sure. Let me back up a little, little bit more. Yeah, I think people kind of get the point now. All right. So we will turn on our traffic advisors, hop on out. And let's see, let's see what's happening. All right, they definitely are gonna need a medic kit right away. Let's open up the door. Let's go to items, medic bag. There we go. Did I call it medic kit? I guess you could call it that, but medic bag is the word I was looking for. See if they're breathing. They are breathing, they have a pulse, and they are conscious. Alrighty, so sir, just hang in there. Do not move. Possible, or pulse found, possible brown bone fracture okay so their uh, right arm yeah the right arm or our left but their right arm uh, is potentially broken or fractured there we go all right use a fracture kit so we will definitely grab that I'm actually also because it's a hidden run I'm gonna put a neck collar on as well it didn't really tell us to but just for safety why not uh, okay, we'll go. Where is it? Items, fracture kit. There we go. And right on their arm. Doesn't look like they need any bandage or anything. But yeah, now we can go ahead and bring them back. Ooh, how did we just pick up both bags? I don't know how we did that, but I'm happy that we did. Let's go to. What's it under? Is it under items? Yeah, stretcher. Everything is just under the items category. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? You can knock this over? I honestly did not even know you could do that. But here we go. Back on up. Do, 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 do. And should be good. Where did the uh, person who called 911, where did they go? There was a female on scene here. Is she walking away there? I guess we don't really need her to be here anymore, but it's a little bit strange that she just got up and left without saying anything. Yeah, here we go. Turn on the sirens. We'll keep the traffic advisors on as well, since we do have a patient in here. Better for people to know that. Here we go. Honking our horn through here, or just adjusting the siren. Honestly, I don't even know if you guys can hear the siren that well, but I can definitely hear it. Here we go. All right, watch out, watch out. So here's the hospital. We need to go to the front door. We start at the back, but this is where we have the ability to bring in the patient. Stop right here. Perfect. Hop on out. And I'm just leaving the engine on. Do to do, do. Items. Stretcher. There we go. Grab the stretcher if we can. Perfect. And then bring them into here. Alrighty. Go, 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 run. <laughs> Perfect. 20 rep or 30 reputation points, actually. Yeah, hit and run, possible bone fracture. Call 3001 is complete. So, 
what we're gonna do now is wait for the next call and when I'm doing that here's a message from our sponsor join Lava Mod's patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations you will get early access to Lambo Winston and beard shots awesome ideas on top of all that you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools join today using the link below Okay guys, we have a vehicle incident. This is one of the new callouts as well. This is callout ID 4001. So yeah, we should, I believe, have a few victims down. We've never even tried this callout before. We've tried it as a firefighter, but never as, e never as EMS. But here we go, okay. So just take the interstate. Looks like this might be a new location as well, if I remember everything correctly. Hopefully we have enough fuel to get there as well. We are down to 78%. So yeah, definitely not full on gas right now. Hopefully there'll be a gas station we can go to on the way back. Actually, we probably won't be able to go to a gas station because we're going to have someone in the back of our vehicle. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to see. If worse comes to worse, we'll get fuel. But if we can make it back without doing that, then we'll definitely... Definitely try to do so. <laughs> Just because it obviously does take time, and time might be something that the uh, patient doesn't have. So, yeah, yeah, we, we will see. But, anyways, I'm also just going to quickly mention we do have a Discord server, guys. If anyone wants to join that, feel free to. It is linked down below, completely free to join. It's just like a community where you can chat with me or other uh, people who watch the videos. On top of that, you can uh, advertise stuff in the advertising chat. So let's say you have a YouTube channel or you have a Discord server of your own that you want to promote. Feel free to do it. Just make sure to go to the right channel. Um, besides for that, we have an off-topic chat so you can talk about whatever you want, really. Just try keeping it PG-friendly. <laughs> uh, and yeah, there's lots of other things we have, too. You guys can go to the Get Notified uh, chat, and if you react to a post there, you can be notified every time videos come out. So that's another another cool thing. But if you don't want to do it that way and you still want to be notified when videos come out, make sure to turn on our channel post notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button. We are now on scene. Here we go. This might have been the call I did for the thumbnail yesterday. I believe it was. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We will see, okay. Uh, actually, we have this fire truck blocking this, so we can go a bit closer. Here we go. Let's make sure to not run over them. And should be good. All right, ooh, wait, wait, wait. We definitely need to turn on our traffic advisors either way, but also turn off the vehicle because we won't have enough fuel to get back if we don't do that. So let's assess the scene. We have someone trapped there, or they're not trapped anymore, but we need to assess them. Someone on the ground as well. Another driver here and another driver there. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to... We have one stretcher. This is, this is going to be interesting. We've never tried to call this big as EMS before. Okay, inspect patient. I'm really hoping they're all breathing. Not breathing, no pulse, unconscious. All right, that's a great start. <laughs> no pulse. Yeah, we're going to have to revive this person. Possible bone fracture. Oh, this... This woman is not doing too good right now. Yep. Yeah. All right. Perform CPR. Definitely going to want to do that. Uh, perform CPR. Oh, move her shirt first. I don't know why you have to remove their shirt for CPR, but you do. Here we go. Now, I know that they sped up the time it takes to do CPR. I I honestly am not sure how long it used to be. It seemed pretty quick before, and it still seems pretty quick. I'm going to put on... Uh, to, to do a neck call... Oh, actually, we should probably wait for that. Use defibrillator. Okay. Technical defibrillator. Uh, do, to do, do. Put on the leads. One there, and one there, and one there. Yep. Alrighty. So, perform CPR again, it's saying. I'm just going to shock them. Actually, mm, should we shock them? It's a hard decision. Alright, we'll try CPR. Try CPR one more time. 
it, it might work. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. And again, we still have another three victims we have to help. Okay, now check the leads again. Oh, this is this is gonna be crazy. Uh, is it gonna let me? Oh, here. Yep, they look to be good now. So, what else do we have to do? I think just remove all. Yeah. And then we should be able to transport them. Actually, we need to first get a fracture kit. Because I think that they do have a bone injury, right? Yep. Right on their arm. There we go. I don't know if I'm doing this all in the right order or not. But we're trying. Okay. Items. Stretcher. Please let me pick them up now. Should let me. Looks like it will. Uh, oh. No. Okay, apparently it doesn't want us to do that yet. Uh, very weird. Let's... It says just... Okay, I'm going to perform CPR one more time. One last time. We might have to get the defibrillator back out. Because it seems that the patient might have... Stop breathing again? Do we need bandages? No. Nothing really needs bandages. Okay. Get the defibrillator out. I think we'll just shock them to be safe. Pretty sure that's what the issue is. So, get the leads on. There we go. You know, they're breathing. Like, oh, now it's saying we can transport them. Interesting. It should have... Oh, cannot do it with the leads on. That makes sense. Okay, so remove all. Now grab the stretcher, pick them up, and we're good to go. So yeah, we'll definitely be bringing this person back in our ambulance. They seem to be doing as bad as possible, honestly. Here, I'm actually gonna leave the doors open in case they like scream or anything if they need help. But let's get out our medic bag and let's check out this person so inspect patient see how they're doing uh breathing pulse found conscious possible neck injury yeah i'm gonna put a neck brace on them actually we should have put a neck brace on the other uh patient as well or victim or i don't know what to call them person who's in our ambulance right now definitely should have put a neck brace on them all right and now apply neck collar and request for transport. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Grab the medic bag. Let's go on to the next person. Spec patient. Check out everything that's going on here. Uh, they're breathing. Okay, so it seems like this is really just going to be the same thing again. It, I feel like everyone who's in the vehicles will have the same results. Because... I don't believe we can currently perform CPR on these patients. Unless they're like already laying on the ground. Okay. Uh, do, do, do neck collar. And finally, request for transport. There we go. We have one final person to help right over here. Let's go inspect patient. Once we check their head, you can kind of tell everything. Yeah, possible neck injury. Well, okay, if they have a broken arm or leg, it won't tell us that, but everything else it will. <laughs> there we go. And looking good. Okay, apply neck collar. You guys know the drill at this point. Finally, request for a transport. And we are good. All right. Grab this and let's drive on back to our to the hospital. I was gonna say to the station, but it's not really a station. All right, how are we looking with fuel? We are at fifty-five percent. Ooh, we gotta we gotta get going. <laughs> we really have to get going. Yeah, they'll they'll worry about the rest of the scene. There's the fire department. There's more ambulances, and there is police officers, or there are police officers there as well. So, not our job to clear the scene, luckily. We have other people to do that. There we go. Luckily, traffic's pretty light right now. 
I say that and then a vehicle spawns in front of us, but <laughs> they won't be an issue, I don't think. Wow, we are actually, I, either they're speeding or this ambulance is just slow. Going 80 miles an hour. And they are definitely, definitely matching our speed or maybe going a little bit slower. Not by much though. They're probably going 75 miles an hour. Yeah, now we're going like 76, 77. Alright, we should be able to pass them. Here shortly at least. Come on. There we go. Moved out of the way for us. Thank you. Appreciate it. They're probably wondering why we weren't going faster. So you really were just following them for a while there. Do 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 do. Okay, how how are we looking? 85 miles an hour, I guess that's our top speed when we aren't going around corners. Do, do, do. Oh, also, another thing. I, I keep getting these comments. Uh, you guys are asking if I play with a controller. I'm just going to address it now. I personally do not play this game with a controller. It does support controllers, to my knowledge, but I've never tried it. It is something that I've been thinking about doing. I actually, now that I'm back home, I don't even know where my controller is exactly. Uh, but I am thinking I might, I might try out playing the game on a controller see how it is I personally find the driving to be very nice on keyboard by itself but I know not everyone agrees with that anyways here we are hop on out go I whoops items and stretcher it's weird that the stretchers is classified as an item but I guess it kind of is so it's a very large item there we go, 30 reputation points. Vehicle incident is now complete. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the gas station. Then we will wait for our next call. Alright guys, we are at the gas station. Let's go ahead and fill on up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I should have parked a little bit closer, I think. How are we looking? Uh, is this... Oh wait, are we grabbing from the other side? Hold up. Why is it not showing us our fuel? Hmm. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Perfect. Oh, and vehicle incident. Here we go. Let's accept that call out and get moving. So where is this located at? Ooh, not a fun location. Okay, we'll take the interstate for as long as we can. But we'll head up uh, which way? Kind of north, I guess. So here we go. Just at the other part of the map. Yeah, last time we went uh, to the we went the other direction. There we go. Again, traffic is pretty pretty solid right now. Nothing really to worry about. Just keep our eyes on the road, just in case that changes. But maybe because of the coronavirus, that's why the streets are so empty today. I honestly did, like, increase the traffic to, I think, eight vehicles can be on the road at a time, but it seems like zero are showing up. Alright, here we go. Just follow this road. I'm going to have to look, actually, when we turn off. Uh, okay, looks like it will be at the next, the next, um, off-ramp. Yeah, the next off-ramp is where we'll head on out. Then it shouldn't be too much further from there. Just a little bit of side road driving, nothing nothing too major. Here's the ramp I was talking about. Alright, slow down a little. Drift! Okay, not the best drift, but we didn't crash, so that's all that matters. Just didn't look too cool. Uh, no, no, okay, keep going. It'll be our next left. Ooh, okay, okay, I see you with your turn signal. Glad to see you're following the law. There's another vehicle up ahead, I believe. Actually, might have despawned. Let's see. Is there a vehicle? Nope. Okay, it despawned. We're, we're all good. Nothing to worry about there. We are about to approach the scene. Very, very close. I think we've done this call a while ago. Uh, maybe, maybe in our last live stream. Uh, playing as EMS, actually. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure we did a police escort for someone doing this call during the live stream. I think that's what happened. Whoops, okay. I did hit that cruiser. Whoopsie. Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up. Gotta turn off our, our engine every time. I keep forgetting to do this. Now we're good. So let's see what's happening. Looks to just be the one victim. We'll grab our medic bag. Should be a pretty straightforward call. Spec patient. Let's check out the head first. Possible neck injury. Yep. Called it. I, I just, I had a feeling. <laughs> I see the future. Okay. And check their last leg. Looking good. Okay. So neck collar. Then should be able to just bring them in. Grab the stretcher. We're good to go. Items, stretcher. Grab on here. Move forward. And there we go. Also, this is a good time to mention we do have a Minecraft server. So if you guys want to join that, feel free to. The IP is mc.garrettplays.com. It's also in the description, uh, around halfway down, I believe. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do so we currently have skyblock on there and i would love to see lots of people join the server um, it does cost a little bit of money to run each month so i want to make sure that the money i'm spending on it is worthwhile and to make it worthwhile i need you guys just be playing on there you don't need to donate to the server or buy ranks or anything you can play for free i just want to see that you guys are enjoying it uh, in order for me to keep that thing running but anyways, let's focus on driving now. Again, the IP is mc.garrettplays.com. Links down below. Okay, watch this vehicle. We really have to be careful on turns, especially, because with a stretcher in the back, like, the stretcher is locked down pretty solid. I'm not worried about it sliding around. But obviously, someone is laying on it, right? You don't want to just get whiplash when in the back of an ambulance especially and on top of that they are already injured so any neck movements are very very dangerous but that is why we have a neck brace <laughs> <coughs> all right uh, also just a update on me being sick and stuff it's a little little update about it uh, i am still sick but i'm definitely getting better today is the best i felt in the past week or uh, no, I haven't been sick for a week. In the past like four or five days, I've been sick. This is the best I felt so far. Still not 100% though, and I'm gonna continue to just rest and take it easy. Uh, but regarding live streams, because if you guys didn't know, I'll only live stream if I'm like feeling better, like fully better. So I'm guessing tomorrow there could be. I guess I'm pre-recording this video, so. For you guys, tomorrow there might be a live stream, but probably the following day is when I'll be fully up to it. But I'll let you guys know on Discord if anything changes, or if you guys have any questions about live streams, uh, Discord server is the place to ask them. Because I'll check that before I check the comment section on videos, usually. Here we are. Alright, turn into here. Very, very careful. We're doing pretty good with our driving today. Like, we did hit that cop car, but besides for that, I think we're doing pretty good. And it was just like a little, little, like, love tap. It wasn't anything, anything crazy. We just hit, we also actually just hit the ram bar on it. So, if, if anything, our vehicle is going to be more damaged than the police cruiser. But they're all city vehicles either way, so it's okay. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, but I just want to make sure I'm resting up today. And I do have a lot of school assignments to be working on, so that's why this video is a little bit shorter. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Again, Discord server is linked down below. You can also check out the Minecraft server. IP is mc.garrettplays.com. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.